Today is 5th November 2018. This is a video to show how this dog's surgery has been performed. This is a surgery is called enucleation, removal of the eyeball due to severe injury and pain. And uh, I'm just describing the surgical procedures. This surgery was done about one and a half hours ago. Uh, show the eye. The eye is stitched up already now. Okay, so I will go through the surgical procedure. Use the. Okay, we start with the first part is the lateral canters. Huh? So, first part, I will cut the lateral canters under, under general anesthetic, cut about 2 cm. Then there was bleeding, so I will clamp the bleeder. So that there is no blood all over the place. Okay, so clamp it. Then the second part. Same part I use the eye. Uh, what you call that? The retractor to open up the uh, the eyeball. The big exposure. Then you can see the limbus. Limbus is the junction between the conjunctiva and the sclera. Okay, lift it up and cut the conjunctiva. Then the third, third part will be slowly cut off the muscles all around the globe eh? uh, so that the whole eyeball can be pulled out a bit but not too 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 hard and too too forcefully otherwise it affect the optic nerve and the other eye as well the eyesight so this is the third part so I use electrosurgery and I slowly dissect out the eyeball all around 360 degrees huh? then before now in this drawing you can see that, that the scissors were used to cut the optic nerve and blood vessels but I like it I like like it the optic nerve uh, I, 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 I like it underneath I don't use the scissors or forceps so I like it and uh, so that they will stop all the bleeding when I cut off the eyeball at the optic nerve area above the ligation then the next step is look for the for the third eyelid we call it and I use electrosurgery to cut it off okay so in the end we were left with this opening where the eyeball used to be and as you can see from the lateral canters the lateral canters on this side, I use a scissor to cut the margin. I, I, I didn't use scissors, I use yeah, I use scissors to cut the lid, the eyelid huh? below the eyelashes. Cut two strips, but stop about one centimeter from the media canters. That means you don't cut to the media canters, you stop one centimeter knock. Not uh, in size as shown in, in this illustration. Then the next one will be to suture the the lid margins uh, which have been removed already to suture it uh. the lid margins have been removed but you can see from here by cutting cutting it off so so I suture the inside first inside the conjunctiva and after that finally I suture the eyelids the, the eyelid margins uh, actually yeah. and this is the results Wait, I so I summarize it first. I just show the whole thing for for any veterinary student interested in this surgery. Okay, there's a text here. Now see whether you can turn the next page. The text continue the next page. No here the next page is here and turn over. They describe the procedure. No more? Is it no more? No more already. Mm. Hmm? No more. Okay, go back again. Go up to number 9. Yeah, okay. This is how they spring. Wait, number 9. No, no more already. It's so I just show the, the text here so that any students who wants to refer to, to this uh, procedure 
is called turn over here come the procedure is called lateral subconjunct lateral subconjunctival enucleation technique okay that is the the name of this surgery procedure okay let's see this is the final results now there was not much bleeding because I like it the optic nerve plus blood vessels if without ligation there will be a lot of bleeding and uh, I take off this collar first you can see that uh, it's very important to ligate the optic nerve and blood vessels turn, turn out a bit uh, you can see there's practically no bleeding now the middle canters of course you don't cut off then uh, I can show you the middle canters this part is the middle canters this part is not cut off, huh? this part so that any fluid can flow out otherwise it close everything, nothing will flow out but it is, as you can see there is no bleeding otherwise the blood will flow from here and ok, the lateral canters have also been stitched up there is the lateral canters about 1cm this lateral canters and this is the lead margin and ok, let's look at the other eye the other eye actually is not so bad nah. so I advise the owner not to take out both eyes and the reason the the, the owner wanted enucleation is because she went to the internet to see what is the solution instead of going to the eye specialist for the last two years and getting medication despite medication the dog keep on rubbing the eye against the bed and the wall so as you can see in the first video it was very painful for the dog turn out a bit yeah. so you can see that the uh, enucleation is still the best option for this poor uh, chihuahua then there will be no more painful eye ulcers and uh, the dog is going home soon okay